Hi everybody, you are back in my kitchen. This is Stephanie, and this is Stephanie's Kitchen. Thank you everyone who has um, subscribed to me and follow me and keep me going. Thank you so much. I'm up to about 360 subscribers and I thank everyone and I like to keep growing. Well, today I'm going to do some short ribs, um, boneless short ribs. And I gotta tell you, I was, in, I was uh, last week, we went to a restaurant and we had some short ribs. We had braised short ribs. And my fiance didn't really know what that was. And he loved it. So I said, you know what? Gotta do this recipe. So I'm gonna do it in my, uh, in my slow cooker today. Cause you know, it's warm. And the slow cooker is a wonderful thing to use when you're warm, when it's warm outside or when you, when you have a lot to do. And frankly, I should have had this on this morning, but I had to get my hair done. So this is going to be a part two because it has to cook for a little while. So it's going to be a part two to this. Well, not a part two. It's going to, next, tomorrow, I'll show you the ending. So anyway, I have, um, I have um, two pounds, almost three pounds of short ribs boneless. And everything is going in my slow cooker. So my slow cooker has a lining, which I showed you guys before. This lining is good because it helps with the, uh, with the cleanup. Thing that helps with the cleanup is a good thing so you guys should try the liners that go in the uh, slow cooker I have almost three pounds of boneless um, um, short ribs that I got from Costco so it was a, a decent deal and uh, I'm going to put and actually I have it I have to see if I can find the uh, short ribs around here that has a bone in it I haven't yet seen those I have to probably go in the meat store or something like that for that but I haven't seen them so I'll try those later. But they're going in the, the, the pot. And I already seasoned them with some sea salt. I uh, seasoned them with some um, no salt um, seasoning, organic seasoning, some ground thyme, some a little black pepper, some garlic and parsley, some onion powder. And I'm gonna put some, um, some beef gravy base in. I'm gonna use a little, uh, the rest of this powder, it's about a half a cup of um, cooking cooking red wine and I'm going to use a better than bouillon which is right here and need some flour and that's about it you stick it in the pot and you let it go so what I what I already seasoned everything oh and I need my onion so I put it I'm going to put everything in the pot now everything is here and it's all seasoned and I'm just sticking it in the pot Okay, this is going to be for dinner for like tomorrow or the next day. It's going to be a, you know, I'm not going to eat it today, which should make it even better when you, when you do that. And I'm going to put in the onions. Actually, I'm going to put a little flour in. I'm not, I'll give you the, mes the me measurements for everything at the bottom of the video. You'll see all the measurements and it'll take you to where the recipe will be. But I'm going to stick a little flour right on top as I told you guys before the crock pot make it on it makes its own juice just throw some flour in there you don't have to do a lot you know so I'm gonna throw that in I got four cups of better than bouillon I'm gonna put that in uh, stick that right in so I still got better than bouillon at the bottom of the spoon try to get that off Get all the good out as I can get. Pour this four four cups around on this. Throw it in here. This should be more than enough liquid. Actually, it almost is more than enough liquid. We get all that bouillon out of there. Give it some flavor. And I'm gonna put these onions in on top. Just throw them in. And then I am going to put in the, uh, let's see, a little bit of this um, beef base. I'm going to sprinkle that on top. That's pretty good. Stuff is very, very good. And uh, I believe, oh, a little bit of this red wine, cooking red wine. Throw that in. And I'm going to stick this thing on here for about 
four hours on high and see what happens. At least four hours on, on high. And let it, let it go for the rest of the day. And I'll be back. Maybe the next, maybe tomorrow. I got to put the, oh, let me put my hood, my, my, my top on. I'm going to put my top on. I'm going to put, pull this up away from the uh, unit so that it, nothing, nothing gets burned or anything. Turn this on. Press, that's on. I'm going to press program. And I'm going to press manual. And that puts it on high. And I'm going to press enter. So four hours on high is what we're going to do right now. Um, if I need, if it's not thick enough, I, mean, I might leave it on actually another hour or so. But if it's not um, thick enough, you, I use this Wondra. Wondra thickens up gravy. So if you want to just get some, get your gravy a little bit thicker without doing all the slurry and all that, just put some Wonder in it and stir it up in there and leave it for a few, a few minutes and it's thicker. It's much better. So we will be back. We'll be back hours from now <laughs> and I'll finish this video. Okay, everybody, see you guys later. Hi everyone, you are back in my kitchen and this is the last part of my uh, short rib video that I made in the um, slow cooker. Uh, I made it a few days ago, like Thursday, then I put it in the refrigerator because it, it was a long day. So I put it in the refrigerator and uh, actually then once I put it in the refrigerator all the fat came up so I, it was, I put it in this bowl right here and I scraped off all the fat so now I got less fat in, in, this, in this dish and I just warmed it up in the microwave and here is here is my dinner for Sunday so you know I put it in the I, I did it on Thursday and then I went and did all the stuff I wanted to do went away this weekend came back all good and now it's ready to eat dinner okay so let me let me let you guys see it, it really it falls right off the bone this was in um, the slow cooker for about five or six hours and it falls right off the bone Look at this meat, and it's delicious. I'm telling you, you should cook your food early and put it in the refrigerator, and it gives it more time to um to marinate. It's good. Mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes. Excuse me for talking with a mouthful. Mashed potato salad and short ribs. Okay. All right, guys. It's time to eat dinner. I will see you guys later. Thank you everyone for subscribing and being there. And I appreciate you all. Thank you. Have a good night and a good dinner. Bye-bye.